Wednesday night, we're going to be cooking um, tuna pa no, chicken pasta bake. And this is something that one of the young lads has planned, which is Hassan, and he's doing this for his tuna bread. Start cooking and chopping up the ingredients. We wash our hands and we make sure all the knives and the boards that we chop on are clean so that there's no germs on what we eat and everything is um, high. Um, we learn how to cook different dishes from different cultures um, every week on Wednesdays. What are we cooking today again? Um, pasta bake. Where's that from? Indeed. Uh, Italy. The things I enjoy about cooking is uh, cutting up the onions and cutting up the meat. Mm -hmm. What are your favourite dishes we've made? The fa my favourite dish that we made was uh, chicken noodles. Chicken noodles. Are we making that next week? I'm just put, I'm gonna put the spices just in there. Or... Put everything that I'm using to put in there, and I'm just mixing it all oh, together on that. So after that, I'm gonna put the onions in first. Do the onions, then as soon as the onions are caramelised, then I'll put the chicken in, and then we're ready to go. Creating a bit of cheese there for the sauce. That's gonna make a nice little sauce. Put it onto the pasta bake, which we're gonna eat very very soon. Food preparation is finished. Young people help tidy away cutlery and food that's not wanted. Uh, this is great because young pe people are gaining life skills which are food hygiene and health and safety in the kitchen. It's great when we're running this project because all get involved. The healthy eating workshops are always well attended. Young people take part in all areas from buying the food to preparing and cooking it. Here they're learning important life skills, say like budgeting and hygiene, all building on their confidence and self-esteem. And let's not forget the fact that they are sitting down to eat a healthy meal in a warm and friendly environment. It's a great place to build relationships and even identifies those who may need extra support. I mean, some young people refer to WIS as home from home, just like an extended family. This in itself for me is, is testament to the good work that we do here. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Right, so we've got the chicken here frying up, already been seasoned. Uh, noodles have been cooked, cooking a little stir fry. It's halal meat, we have a vegetarian one as well for the people that don't eat meat. Um, had all the peppers chopped by the kids, onions, everything else done by the kids. I've done the meat myself. Um, finishing touch very soon.